Letter to you, Bruce Springsteen's latest record, his 20th record, uh, came out not long ago, a couple weeks, maybe a month. Uh, unlike books and, and movies, which, you know, right after I finish reading or, or seeing uh, a movie, I can pretty much tell you what I thought of it. Records always take me a while, especially records by my favorite artists. Um, I thought there was something to this record when I first heard it, but I was unsure. Um, and without putting any real effort in, I have naturally just been listening to this almost every day since it came out. Um, and now I've probably got listened to it 10 times, probably maybe more, maybe 15. I listened to it twice today, two and a half times. Uh, it's actually a good record for a run. Once you get past the first song, which is which is mellow, there's sort of those three or four, or five sort of power rock songs in a row. Um, it was really good on a run this afternoon. But I'm just gonna keep this under five minutes. I think this is Bruce Springsteen's best record since Tunnel of Love. Uh, that could change over time. Um, I could say that it's better than Tunnel of Love, or maybe uh, I, I, actually, I don't think that I will change on the uh, opinion that it's his first, that it's his best record in 33 years. Um, the records that would challenge uh, for that sort of mantle would be Western Stars, which came out last year. I think this is better than Western Stars. Uh, some would say Magic. I wouldn't. Uh, I really like Magic, but it, it's it's uh, it's that's a record that's still growing on me. It's the one Springsteen record that I really just um, I think is really good, but I never gave enough of a chance. Uh, Lucky Town. A, a number of friends would say Lucky Town. His uh, one of his two albums released in 1992. Uh, I love Lucky Town. That was probably my favorite up until this, but uh, this record I think is tremendous. Um, the songwriting isn't you know, Darkness in the Edge of Town or Nebraska or you know, the best of his songwriting, but uh, the songwriting's solid. The music is fantastic. This could be the tightest Bruce Springsteen or, or E Street Band record they've ever made. Um, Max and Steve and uh, the sax, everything is just, uh, it's so well produced. Um, beautiful sort of bookmarks to this record, with opening with One Minute You're Here and then closing with I'll See You In My Dreams. You know, some are saying this could be Springsteen's goodbye letter to you. I hope it's not. Um, I've seen recent interviews with him and it seems like he still has a lot left in the tank. This record live is going to be extraordinary. Uh, Burnin' Train, Janie Needs a Shooter, uh, Ghosts, um, uh, Rainmaker, these songs live, you know, when, that day, when and if that day happens, they're just gonna be uh, arena shaking Springsteen tracks, similar to sort of the Rising Tour. Um, but Letter to You, on a Pitchfork rating, I'd probably give it a 9.0. Um, it's not perfect, but it is really, really strong. Um, and I figured it was time that I share that, <laughs> since I talk about Springsteen so much. Uh, I was thinking about my top 10 records of the year. This will obviously be in that top 10. It will probably be my next video, although there's still some records that I'm giving some more time to. Um, like most collectors, or most um, music uh, geeks, you know, I take a top 10 list seriously, so I want to get it right. But I just wanted to get this one out on a Saturday night. I may listen to it again tonight. This is a great record. And Bruce Springsteen, I don't know if he's been whole. I know with a lot of these songs, some of them are... I think written with the Castiles, his, his pre-E Street Band band. Um, Janie Needs a Shooter, I think was written in the early 70s. 
and was covered, I believe, under a, sh a slightly different title by Warren Zevon. But uh, what a, who, produced by Ron Aniello with Bruce Springsteen. Um, just, uh, and as a friend said, it does look like a Christmas album, but thankfully it's not. I do not like Christmas albums or Christmas music. I never listen to it. Um, I'm glad Bruce never put out a Christmas album. Although he does have some great Christmas, the only Christmas songs I like are Springsteen songs. Santa Claus is coming to town and Merry Christmas, baby. Um, if you haven't listened to this record and you're watching this video, listen to it. It is a, a fantastic achievement by the most important artist in my life, uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Letter to You. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Have a good weekend.